What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be doing a low fade. I'm gonna do a little bit of a scissor trim on top, maybe add a little bit of texture to the top. And uh, also, I'm gonna be keeping here the C curve just to enhance the line up here a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, guys, before I start, I like to brush or comb down the hair in the direction that it lays. And to begin this haircut, I'm gonna start with my open lever. That's a half and I will set down my first guideline probably about a finger in length or a centimeter above the ear and kind of curve that around the ear somewhat of a rainbow arc around you know making sure you stay low right here where the C curve is okay next I'm gonna grab my one guard with the lever open that's a one and a half then I will set down my next guideline probably coming up about another centimeter above that first guideline next I'll grab my two guard and the same thing I'll keep the lever open and I'm gonna come up about another centimeter to lay down my third guideline Next, I'm gonna grab my three guard and I'm gonna keep the lever open, except this time I'm kind of using somewhat of a scooping out motion. That way I'm somewhat already blending up onto the top length of the hair. Next, I will grab my four guard, keep the lever open still, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I was doing with the three and a half. I'm gonna do the same with the four and a half. Just kind of trying to blend the top of the bolt out to the top length of the hair. You could kind of think of it as using the heel of the guard, as you see here. Now that that's done, we're moving on to blending out these two guidelines right here. I'm gonna start with my one and a half clip and I'm gonna open the lever up to about three quarters, as you see here. And I'm gonna start working at that top guideline you see above. You'll see here that I didn't completely blend out the hair so I'm gonna open the lever all the way now and kind of finesse the clipper in any way that I need to pinpoint any dark areas and blend the rest of the top guideline to the top of the head next we're gonna start working at this bottom guideline right here I'll grab my half guard and the same thing as the previous guard, I'm gonna open it just to about three quarters. And then, uh, yeah, I'll start working at this guideline. You'll notice I'm using somewhat more of one side of the clipper as that just helps me kind of pinpoint darker areas a little bit easier. Okay, next I'm gonna blend up a little bit higher. And for that, I'm gonna grab my one guard and open it to about three quarters. And uh, yeah, start working out those dark areas. And what I mean by the lever open to three quarters, if you pay attention to the lever, it's all I'm doing is opening it all the way and then I'll close it a little bit. Now I'm gonna set down my bald guideline and basically I'm just setting it down right there where the dark hair was at on the bottom and uh yeah just using that dark hair as a guideline to help me place this bald guideline down now to blend that faint little line i'm gonna grab my clippers with the lever closed that's a zero and i'm gonna start using the corner of the clippers to blend out that bottom line
Next, I'm gonna open the lever halfway and continue blending up a little bit higher. You'll notice that I'm still only using the corner of the clippers as that just helps me pinpoint more of little dark areas without taking too much hair out. Then I'll open it all the way and finish blending up a little bit higher. Next, I'm grabbing my trimmers to help me take out the rest of the hair that was left behind right before hitting it with my electric shavers just to finish balding out the bottom of the fade. And when using the electric shaver, I'm using it just as I would a pair of clippers, kind of just scooping out as I get closer to the beginning of the fade. Now with my liners, I will shape out the C curve right here by the temple area, starting from the top, working my way down to the sideburn area. And now that the fade is pretty much done, it's always good to brush away any loose hair, kind of take a step back and get a good look at the fade and see if you can maybe target any dark areas that might need some blending. In this case, I noticed a little bit of dark areas that were still there on the top. So I kind of grabbed my one and a half guard and uh, opened the lever all the way and kind of just worked out any little dark areas that I might have seen that needed a little bit of blending work. Next, I'm gonna run a two guard all over the beard before I blend it down. I'm gonna set down my first guideline with the zero, maybe halfway in between his earlobe. Next, I'm gonna open the lever all the way to a half and come down maybe about a centimeter. Next, I'll grab my one guard, open the lever all the way and come down about another little centimeter. Next, we'll blend down the guidelines that were set, starting with the bottom one. I'll come with my half clip, open to about three quarters, and work out that bottom guideline. Next, I'm closing the lever all the way with no guard and blending out that top guideline of the beard. Next, I'll trim out the rest of the hair right before hitting it with the electric shaver. Next, I will come in with a little bit of shave gel to start up my razor work. First, I always shave with the hair that's going down, and then I'll come against the hair to shave against the hair growth pattern. That way, it just leaves your lineup work with a sharp and detailed look. Right after that, it's always good to run your straight razor on the bald areas of the haircut, just in case you might have missed any little loose hairs, especially right behind the ear. Now that this side is done, we're going to apply the exact same steps to the opposite side and the back side of the haircut.
now that this side is done all we got to do now is connect back both guidelines and blend up using the exact same steps now before we do our scissor trim i will wet the hair a little bit that way the hair is a little more controllable we'll start from the front area and you'll see that i pull back the hair a little bit that way we leave the front of the hair a little bit longer than the middle and the back and you'll see i'm basing two fingers that way that serves as my guideline and shows me how high to take up my guideline before giving it a trim we're gonna run that same guideline all the way to the back and then we'll follow that by trimming the left and the right side of the hair the exact same way Once the top is nice and even, we're gonna just blend the top to the sides of the fade. And you'll see how I do it here. I'm just grabbing a section at a time and chopping anything that hangs out over the fade. Once you're done, you're gonna wanna blow dry the hair in the direction that you want it to lay right before applying your product of preference. Here I used a little bit of a matte pomade. I'll rub it through my hands and kinda just disperse it evenly throughout the whole hair and kind of just play with the hair until you find a desired look you and your client are satisfied with. So that pretty much wraps up this low bald fade tutorial guys. Let me know in the comments section which I did or didn't like about the tutorial and uh, maybe also give me some suggestions on what other haircuts y'all would like to learn. If y'all liked it please give it a thumbs up and make sure y'all are subscribed. I'll catch y'all next time in the next video. This is Sergio Barron, Faded Culture, I'm out.